Well, happy Tuesday. Happy October 1st. We're starting off talking about the tropics. The Atlantic Basin still busy out there. We've got hurricane, well, almost Hurricane Kirk, still a tropical storm, but set to become a hurricane later today. But Kirk will stay out in the open Atlantic Basin and bring no impacts to anybody. We also got Invest 91 out there to the east. Looks like that could be our next name system, which the next name on the list is Leslie. Now, really what we're paying attention to is this area of possible tropical development we've been talking about for the last couple of days. No big changes since yesterday. Still a 40 percent chance of tropical development from the National Hurricane Center. It looks like we'll just be watching some tropical moisture moving in from the Caribbean into the Gulf. Some weak low pressure may be able to form later this week into the upcoming weekend, but it looks like it will be low level concern. It does not look like it will be a big problem because there will be upper steering currents that are not favorable for development. I think we'll see more shear later this week and some drier air, which is all welcome things. So anything that does try to develop will be pretty messy and disorganized. So the next couple days, not much is going to happen. We'll just see more tropical moisture coming into the Gulf. And then we go into this weekend. This is Sunday and you see the big global models trying to produce something here, but it's going to be kind of sloppy and disorganized. And that's when the upper pattern starts to become even less favorable for tropical development. Like I mentioned, we'll start to see an upper trough come down, which will increase the wind shear. But even so, with all that moisture expected to move into the Gulf, there will be more rain across our area on Thursday and Friday. Even the eastern Gulf Coast down into Florida we will be seeing more rain later this week and into the weekend. And you notice there's just some weak disturbances, some weak low pressure that tries to get into the Gulf and that'll just prompt some showers and storms. I think this is not going to be a huge concern and we need this because so many people are recovering from Helene. But still, the peninsula of Florida, the Big Bend of Florida will be seeing some more rain heading into this weekend, just adding on top of what they had already seen. I wanted to show you the shear that will be increasing across the deep south. Getting into later this week into the weekend as a trough starts to work down, we've got the drier air coming in the shear and that will help keep any potential tropical systems weak, disorganized and at bay, which all welcome signs. But still planning for more rain going into Thursday, Friday and this weekend. A lot of the rain will be off into the Gulf of Mexico, but Peninsula of Florida, the eastern Gulf Coast, even our part of the area, particularly the coastal spots, will be seeing a couple inches of rain going into later this week into the weekend. So getting some rain across our area, I think starting Thursday and Friday, and then we'll probably have some lingering rain into the weekend, but it depends on how fast that trough or that cold front comes down early in the week, and it'll be a sharp cutoff. I think our coastal spots will see more rain getting into later this week, Thursday, Friday into the weekend. North Shore, probably not as much rain, but we'll get some good soaking showers, I think, at times going into later this week. So we'll continue to watch the Gulf. Of course, some development is still possible. Don't want to turn our backs to it, but so far just planning for some weak low pressure, maybe taking shape later in the week into the week weekend and planning for more rain across the Gulf Coast and Florida in the coming days. But not yet. Today and tomorrow will be dry. We'll have plenty of sunshine today, some scattered clouds. It's very warm, 86 degrees. Dew points are in the upper 60s. It's not too humid just yet, but I think humidity will start to increase on Thursday when that Gulf moisture moves back into our area. Today looks very nice. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures warming up to the upper 80s, near 90 degrees this afternoon. Clear skies for the most part tonight. Our chance of rain does go up Thursday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So we have scattered rain and storms in the mix for us Thursday, Friday. Friday and this weekend, but temperatures will be in the low 80s then.